It's time to tackle all the holidays in Animal Crossing New Horizons. The seasons will greet us with a ton of new items, beautiful foliage, and plenty of special guests. Grab a blanket, get cozy, and enjoy the video. Hello there. It's been a hot minute since I played Animal Crossing New Horizons, and it is no longer Halloween time. It's no longer uh, really fall. Well, yeah, it is as you can tell by the trees and whatnot, but it's getting closer to Turkey Day, as you can tell by the date below me. And technically, as I'm recording this, it is Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving to anybody who lives in America. And Turkey Day is tomorrow. So I'm gonna give you an update on what the town is like and all the fall things I didn't do, because there's a lot of them. But before I do that, I'm gonna get into like the holiday spirit more, because I'm dressed in all like black here. It's not very festive. So although I do not have the Christmas tree up, I am going to go and get a little festive like I have in previous years and get the sweater on. This has not been washed since 2018 when I got this, right? 2018, I think. Yeah. Um, no, I'm just kidding. It totally has been. Um, turn off turn off that heater over there and uh, get into the the holiday spirit here what's going on it's your boy Brian Saviano Bricks O'Brien hello the hair is all floofy all right no haircut in a long time and I also have these we're getting holly jolly up in up in here all right so there you go uh, there will be a Christmas tree in the background for the Christmas season but uh, not right now I'm in a transition period here so you're just going to have to bear with it as it is. So, in terms of Animal Crossing, um, I have reverted from my spooky Halloween form, and now I'm back into normal form. And so I found this really uh, cool-looking shirt, like a plaid shirt, which is very fitting for the fall season, at least, so I decided to wear that. Um, I made my eyes blue, which I don't think I did before. I don't know. I don't remember. And I'm too lazy to go back in the video and look. So, um, got everything back to the way it was before. And I did a lot of cleaning up around the town. And actually decked out my house a little bit more. So that is something I will show you uh, once I show you all the updates around here. So, honestly, I totally forget where I left off uh, last time. I believe I was just uh, doing things for Halloween. And then here we are. So this is a maple leaf here. Pretty red. Uh, like the exact color of fall. And so, how is that net here? I thought I broke this net last time. No? I thought, no, I didn't. Oh, I broke something else. Okay, whatever. I was like, that's kind of weird. But no, it's fine. I saved and everything else like that. So, um, yeah, I have not played since Halloween. Plot twist. Uh, the only things they added into the game are these maple leaf DIY recipes, which I got um, one of them from Isabel. But I have not gotten many outside of that. So if I go all the way to order obtained over here, you'll see that uh, there's a couple new things around here. There's a leaf campfire. Got the Libra scale. Uh, there's mushrooms that appear all over Animal Crossing. You probably know this by now. I have not gotten any of them. Well, they're in storage, but I don't have any as of right now. Uh, red leaf pile I do have around here. I got a wooden double bed and an iron frame. So you know what? A whole bunch of nothing, basically. So that's cool. I'll take you over through the town and show you what all the uh, things of Nahant look like now that it's all fall-esque. Um, I'm going to go for like a black and white thing over here. I don't know what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to leave it, you know. I'm, let me turn these on. You can't really tell. Oh, you can totally tell. It's flashing. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit of flavor. So, yeah, there's black and white over there. What I'm basically trying to do is set up the town so that way when I do the DIY recipe or DIY recipe... When I do the dream address for after Christmas time, that way you can visit it and it's a much more complete experience than it was last time. Because a lot of the sections, like the house was not properly done up or anything like that. Just kind of a weird setup that I had going on. So hopefully I can refine that a little bit more and then, you know, have a more presentable island overall. And I'm getting close to being uh, fully satisfied I actually did a lot with the inside of the house that I can't wait to show you. So over here, all sorts of leaves decorating this section. Uh, this is where 
Tom? What's his name? It's not Tom. What's the turkey's name? I, it's typically Tom the turkey. Franklin, yes. It's Franklin. That's the name. Yep, right over there. Franklin, he's going to appear over here. Um, I don't really know what to expect, so they actually did a weird thing with this game. Where they actually made it so you cannot time travel ahead of time like Halloween. Like, we went a, a month ahead of Halloween. Like, I, w I recorded that in September, and I went to Halloween. So, now, they only release the update, like, the night before, which is technically right now. So, I'm, I can, you know, travel a little bit forward, but I can't travel to Toy Day, even though the update is technically in the game files. It hasn't unlocked yet. So, yeah, that's, that's a thing, too. So, I'll take that as it is and do... Uh, you know, Turkey Day and then uh, Toy Day eventually, which is Christmas, Christmas Eve and whatnot. So if you're playing, uh, you technically have to wait until uh, actual Thanksgiving and Christmas and all that to actually play. So interesting how they decided to go about doing that. In this section right here is where I foresee the uh, Toy Day area. So there's a whole lot of DIY recipes for various Christmas related things that go over here. Um, I'm gonna move this prop. I didn't know you could sit on that. Oh, that's cool. Awesome. Uh, I'm gonna move this probably a little bit more down, so that way this is like the park area for real. And then over here is going to be a tree farm, and uh, that soccer net and volleyball are gonna move over to the other side or something. I don't really know. But I want to leave all of the holiday stuff up, so that way when you visit Nahant, you can see it for yourself. So over toward here, uh, where there is the fall section for the pumpkins and the apple orchard and everything else. That's all actually going to stay here. Um, maybe, definitely, I don't really know. What I thought about was actually taking the, the pumpkins out of here and then putting the, uh, the Christmas trees over here. Because that actually happens a lot of the time when you're, you know, going through uh, an orchard or something like that. There's uh, an empty lot, and then boom, there you go. There's all the Christmas trees and everything else that you'll need uh, right over there. So that's an idea. But I did get some mushrooms, and I planted them kind of all throughout here just because. Um, they're merely just accessories and just chilling around here. Not really anything else to do with them. Uh, there's a lot of recipes, like there's a, a mushroom wreath that you saw before. There's a mushroom wand. There's a bunch of other things, but... I don't really have a desire to go after all of them, and I don't really take pride in showing you everything to do in Animal Crossing. I usually show you the cool things I'm really excited about and, and do it that way. So, clearly not something I'm uh, super looking forward to, I guess, right? So, uh, everything around here is basically the same. Nothing too new, nothing too crazy. Oh, one thing I did do was I went to the museum and I actually found the very last dinosaur bone that I need. And I was missing, if you remember, way back in the beginning of Animal Crossing, I was missing just one piece of the dinosaur. I believe it was the Diplo torso. So everything is complete all throughout here. Every single thing. And I believe I showed off everything else beforehand. So there's going to be no further additions for this section of the museum. I think it was this section right here. Yeah, that, that looks just about familiar. Uh, the oh, Brachiosaur, Brachiosaurus tail or... No, it was... I, I think it was a Diplo torso. Regardless, it's all complete. So that's good. In terms of new things that they may add to the museum, uh, people are anticipating uh, gyroids coming back, which are the musical nugget things. I don't know what you want to call them, but they are in the game uh, in the form of at least in this time. Uh, there's, you know, when you construct a bridge, there you go. Uh, over toward here is the uh, art section. I have not encountered red even a little bit, so I don't know what the deal is there, but whatever. So I... <laughs> I don't know of anyone online or otherwise that has completed the art gallery without totally time traveling and whatnot. So, continues to be mission impossible. Uh, this is what the red leaves look like over here. Very similar to the green ones. They're just red. So, there you go. Uh, there's a lot of recipes like that that are hidden inside trees and whatnot. I just didn't go through the effort of doing it because not something that appealed to me, like I said before. 
Uh, something I did do was I optimized the various lanes here. So over here, this is like the orange and yellow lane. So everything around here is going to be themed around those colors no matter what. So you get the flowers, you have the orange trees and whatnot. Looks really good with the fall colors, as you can tell. Over toward here is red, pink, and uh, purple. So kind of those uh, Valentine's Day colors all throughout here. You got apple trees, cherry trees, and whatnot. Larry's house still chilling over here. Getting a little overgrown because obviously he is in the forest. Uh, still the pool and everything down here. Lots of little things that I just, you know, worked with and changed around because why not, you know? Doing all those menial things that off camera is typically good for. Over here, I don't know what I want to do. Um, I'm tempted to make something Bricks O'Brien related, whether it's um, like the O and apostrophes out of these um, these flowers here, and then having black all around. I don't I don't know what to do. So I'm still thinking about it, but I'm just letting all these blue ones grow here. It might just be full blue. I don't really know, but. Uh, that's just existing over there Lots of black flowers over here. Oh a gold one spawned in that's kind of interesting um, I had a second set of gold flowers over down toward here. So that's pretty cool uh, I'm still letting flowers just kind of grow without any real, you know rhyme or reason or anything They're just kind of chilling all around um, the upper section Continues to be a work in progress. Uh, I've kind of optimized it for you know more natural things i don't like clean energy sort of a deal all the way up toward here uh the star lake is still just chilling as it always has been looking excellent as always so uh yep there's all that over there that far right section continues to be very problematic in terms of being overgrown so it's still just chilling over there uh, over here is the purple and blue lane, which I know purple is in here twice, but because there's so many purple flowers, I figure why not? So purple, blue, white, um, the very light colors are going to be all throughout this way here. And if I were super duper try hard, I would also change up, you know, the, the animals and their houses and make sure they match, but I'm not doing that. It's whatever. Uh, that could be a project for maybe one day when I'm super duper uber bored, but not right now. So... Here's uh, this other lane over here, you know, typical flowers, just chilling over here. Um, this one of everything flower project, no progress, <laughs> no progress whatsoever. They're just uh, hanging out all around there. And there is a variety of, uh, you know, new fish and bugs and everything like that. I'm not going for 100% on that. I never do an Animal Crossing. It's always a lot of effort and it's a lot of time and it isn't something that I've ever felt compelled to do um, Usually games like this like I just don't I just don't do I don't know It's just not not my uh, not my thing, you know, and especially with time traveling It would just take a while. Like, I don't see any purpose in doing that. You know, I'm not looking for a complete perfect town or anything like that just kind of hanging out and doing whatever. So um, I think the town looks great, in my opinion. I'm getting more and more satisfied with the town as time goes on, and especially with the holiday items that are going to be added. And then the next set of items are going to be Pave. Pave's coming back, baby. January. Get hyped. From Animal Crossing New Leaf, the goat Pave. Cashing out big time. All right? And then there's also going to be uh, Mario stuff added in March. Which there's a lot of Mario stuff happening in March. I don't know why. Super Mario Maker 1 is going down. You can't buy it on the Wii U anymore. 3D All-Stars is getting retired. That's happening. So something, so something stewing in March. I don't know what. Something stewing. All right? But that's, that's just me speculating. I don't know anything. All right? But what I'll do now is I'll go inside the house and I'll show you a bit of what I've done. Again, it continues to be a work in progress, but I, I, I somehow got a really creative vibe at like four in the morning. So you can see here the house looks a little bit different on the inside. Uh, main thing is uh, two things. There is a bathroom over toward this section here. So using these simple panels, I decided to go with a bathroom right over here that you can see the bidet and, you know, the sink and the scale and everything else over there. 
Um, that's what those panels are great for is, uh, you know, dividing a room if you really wanted to. And having a whole, you know, side room over there dedicated to a bathroom, it's way too big and I don't have enough stuff to put in there. So just working with what I got, I think that works really well. Uh, the stereo is obviously over there. And the questionable thing, you might be like, Brian, why would you block off this room over here? Uh, it's because I have no idea what to do. This room has never served a purpose, doesn't have a function. And I think it, you know, looks good with the workbench here. And I can change my appearance over here. Not really a reason to have that room, at least as of right now. Can't think of anything I want to put over there. So it's just going to stay closed off. So when you visit via the Dream Address, which will be available after... Uh, New Year's, that'll be the last episode for this season, if you will. Um, you'll be able to visit and you won't be able to go in that room because it's blocked. But over here, the only thing I changed was I lowered a lot of these things over here so you can see, you know, the galactic sweater, 3D glasses, balloon animal hat, Dow shirt, the scuba mask, the face mask, the suit. So all of that is just lowered over there. Everything else in here is the same. I actually have the pattern for or DIY for the double bed, so I might end up making that eventually, but not right now. I actually forget entirely what is over here. Oh no, I do know. This is my uh, my office over toward here. So this is what it looks like. I believe I did show this on camera before. Make sure I'm watching a rom-com, I guess. All right, cool. So watching a video while I'm uh, watching something else, which is very on par for what I do. <laughs> Totally honest with you. So this is very accurate. This this is kind of inception. It's literally what I'm doing right now. So yeah, I love that the camera like just about peers over the uh, the computer right there. That's pretty cool. And then I have my Lego display over here. So uh, the background looks a little plain. Obviously, I got stuff back here. I have Pickles the Penguin just chilling. Uh, so I'm going to have to put some things back there, but for right now, it's just blank. So it actually looks kind of blank back here anyways, so that's fine. Um, the basement is pretty much unchanged. I think I got one more uh, pinball machine or something like that. The one I was... Yeah, this looks really cool. The one I was really looking forward to was the Luigi's Mansion one, which I don't know if I showed that before, but in case I didn't, here you go. Uh, that's my favorite of them. And funnily enough, I'm looking at it right now. I got a Pac-Man arcade machine uh, right over there. So I'm going to probably put that in the background at some point. Gets more like my office every day in Animal Crossing and otherwise. So that's cool. So that's there. Uh, switch. And then my trophies. Look at all my trophies. Right, Pickles? Anyways. Um, popcorn machine for snacking, microwave, all that. So there you go. Um, the upstairs is different and it actually looks really good in that stroke of genius I had at 4 o'clock in the morning. I decided hey, let's deck out the very top and now It's actually a kind of spooky kitchen Kitchen on the second floor YOLO, you know what I mean? Why not? So you have a carrot cake here being eaten um, it's got the spooky walls. There's Jack here. I don't know why it's Halloween themed, but why not, right? Um, and I haven't had a kitchen in Animal Crossing ever, so I think between having the espresso machine, the water jug, all of this looks really good. So I am happy with this. There's a phone on the wall in case you don't know what a corded phone is in 2020. You probably don't. That means I'm old. But yeah, this is what I came up with so far. Looking for something to do over here. I don't know what, but uh, I like this area so far. And uh, why not have a giant pink teddy bear there? I should probably get one for right back here, you know. It would just make uh, the most sense here. So if one day I do take out all of the uh, Halloween stuff on the outside of the town, I still have something Halloween related up all year round. So something might happen with the, the Christmas stuff. I don't really know, but that's whatever. So that is pretty much everything in the town as it stands as of right this very second. The next thing to happen is uh, Thanksgiving in Animal Crossing. And if you're an international viewer, it has no meaning for you whatsoever. So cool. Um, but that's going to be the next thing that happens in Animal Crossing. And it doesn't re it gives you a lot, but it kind of doesn't. And it's kind of a massive pain in the butt to get everything. But it, you know, it's, it's going to be a lot. So 
it's I'm, I'm tempted to do everything I probably should because I got the time but I don't mm, so I'm kind of mm, you'll you'll understand so I'm gonna go to Thanksgiving and show you everything that Thanksgiving has to offer my name is Brian Saviano connects Kenny the single best person you've ever met in your life okay and I'll see you again next time for more Animal Crossing New Horizons on the Nintendo Switch. It's turkey time next time, baby. Bye.